In the book 2 Samuel 7:28, the scripture says, Sovereign Lord, you are God. Your covenant is trustworthy, and you have promised these good things to your servant. God has promised you good things. Those who trust in God will sing and not sink. We will rejoice and not let our circumstances overtake us. Hallelujah. Hello, Gifted Podcast listener. I greet you with Jesus' joy. May God make the second half of this year a memorable one for you. We are indeed glad to have you on this platform. Our main goal is to make God's word as practical as possible so that you can apply it. God bless you as you prepare to enjoy today's podcast. My name is Kristen, and I invite you to get into God's Word today with Pastor Kwame. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Praise the Lord for He is good and His mercies endure forever. Praise the Lord because He has done great things. Praise the Lord because He is the Alpha and the Omega. Praise the Lord because He is the one that died and rose up all by Himself. Praise the Lord because He has dealt bountifully with us. Praise the Lord because if it had not been the Lord on our side. Praise the Lord because He is our soon coming King. Praise the Lord because He healed all our diseases and forgiven our trespasses. Praise the Lord because he is a maker of the heavens and he had praise the Lord because all things find its completeness in him. Praise the Lord because he is our shepherd. Praise the Lord because he is our counselor. Praise the Lord because he is our very present help in time of need. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you with Jesus' joy. I thank God for your life. It's a privilege for me to share God's word with you. The flower face, live with her, but the word of God abide for ever amen i don't take it lightly at all i'm on a mission on this week and let me talk today about something very critical i want to um read from the book of matthew chapter 10 verse 31 and i'm not talking about establishing your self-worth and you might think that it doesn't flow with the bigger theme that we're talking about this week but i'm going to show you how pivotal and critical this topic is as it ties with everything so matthew chapter 10 verse 31 the scripture says now you are more valuable to god you are more valuable to god i'm going to teach on establishing your worth establishing it and coming to the knowledge of your worth all right that's what we're going to talk about and in the verse here jesus said that you are more valuable than the other things god takes care of in other words in the scheme of things god in creation to be precise he has made man more valuable than any visible thing jesus did not come to die for the globe he doesn't he didn't come to die for the planet he did not come to die for the species on the land he came to die for the most valuable uh thing that he has made which is you and i and i want to kind of show you that it's not just a statement but it trickles down everything else amen so i'm going to talk about establishing your worth and knowing it and then now let me put it in context or let me try to set it in the narrative that we are talking about t- uh, this week because we've been dealing with spiritual uh things and we've been dealing with uh, more of our uh, spiritual warfare so to speak and breaking curses and all the things that we've talked about you know dealing with the spirit of fear and all so how does Know your worth come into the equation. Now, what is super important about your well-being is that you have to know the worth of your well-being or the worth of you to be precise. You cannot defeat the devil if you don't know your worth. You cannot succeed in a relationship if you don't know your worth. Basically, you can't do anything without knowing your worth because it is kind of um the beginning of everything you understand that you because before you start doing anything you must first know your worth and that is why this comes into the conversation so much that your worth is critical so i'm going to teach something deep today but it is also yet very uh straightforward and simple and hopefully not hold you for too long so that's kind of what we're going to talk about knowing your worth so pay attention to the things i'm about to talk about because it is extremely important and it is very um easy to miss 
what I'm about to talk about. The first thing I want you to understand is this. There, 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 there is. You see, let me say it like this. When I say know your worth, you will probably think I'm talking about because you are a human being, you have human rights, you, like every soul is worth something. That is the kind of the general understanding that if I'm talking about know your worth, then. I'm saying that if you're a human being, then you are worth everything. That is true, but that is the beginning. That is the starting point. The first thing I want to let you understand is that you have a unique worth. Amen. God created you with a unique worth. In other words, the Holy Spirit gave me an example. I hope it will work when I was trying to teach this podcast. Imagine different color pencil in a box you notice that every pencil is a pencil but every pencil is not the same so there's an intrinsic unique where if you take the blue color out there's no blue color in the box anymore so every pencil is not just a pencil so there's a unique worth that you are when you are out you are out do you understand what I'm trying to say? So I want you to understand that before we start everything, that you don't have just a generic worth that you are just a human being. No, you are intrinsically chosen with a unique worth. That is what is very important. That's how God made it. That's what we no two people look alike. Oh, no, sorry, no people, no two people are identical. Because there's a unique worth that God gave everybody. And he made it for that purpose. And that's the beginning of our conversation today. All right. And so you have to understand that you are therefore specially made by God as a different person. And your uniqueness also feeds into your worth. All right. All right. So that is what I want to start the conversation with. Now let's get into really what I want to talk about. The first challenge that we face is that God made us in such a way that pay attention to what I'm going to say. God made us in such a way that your worth is only visible when your needs are met. This is so important. I'm going to say it again. God made us in such a way that your worth to to know how much your, your value as a person, it is only visible to you. When your needs are met. What I just said means that. Your value and your worth will not reduce. But you won't see it. At the absence of your needs. And I'm going to talk about your three basic needs. That makes your worth very clear. With that said. The fact that those needs are not met doesn't mean you're not vulnerable, but you'll be blinded to your value. You will live below your value if these needs are not met in your life. And that's where the trick comes from. So a lot of people who devalue themselves in life, they devalue themselves because there are some needs in their life that are not met and therefore they are blinded to their value. I pray that you will be able to understand who you are even when these needs are not uh, coming to you at some point in your life. So let me walk through these three main needs that God and, and God created that so that those needs can showcase your intrinsic worth. So it is not a need that makes you valuable but it's the needs that makes intrinsic. Uh, let me say it like this. You know, the power in the battery is in the battery, even if the battery is not used. But as soon as the battery is used, the power in the battery becomes visible. You understand that? So your intrinsic value is still your value. But when, unless your needs are met, it won't be visible. But I'm teaching this so that you will know your value regardless of the challenges and the needs that may not be 
happening in your life. So the three main emotional needs is what I'm dealing with today. The first one is the need to be accepted and to be connected by belonging. Um, most of the time if you are not in any meaningful relationship the likelihood that you will indirectly look at yourself with some question marks is there because a meaningful relationship makes your worth visible before you and so one of the first things that emotionally validates your worth or not wrong choice of words one of the things that emotionally reveal your worth or make it visible to you is when you are accepted into a relationship accepted into a sense of belonging because it is actually how god made you god made you to belong the whole idea it is not good for man to be alone stems from this belonging so that's the first human need anybody that doesn't feel like they belong to anything as a matter of time and they will take their lives anybody that doesn't feel they belong to anything is a matter of time and they will use substance to destroy their lives so belonging is in extremely critical. So I want to encourage you that let people feel that they belong. Because being rejected from everything is a lack, is something that God didn't create us to experience. It will destroy your core. The second thing that is critical to our need is a sense of security. A sense of security as in and a sense of you are not afraid you are not this part of security is more of um you know it's very difficult to deal with an instable unstable life where you don't have anybody right when a person for example a young person walks out of the house into the streets they become somebody else because their security is gone their sense of protection is gone their sense of covering is gone and so they take a very violent or as very damaging uh posture of life just because their security aspect is kind of ripped from them and they don't feel secure they don't feel a sense of being protected and cared for and covered and i pray that nobody goes through this or a child a no child goes through a sense of nobody is kind of taking care of me and those who go through foster parent and foster homes and all of that it causes a lot of problem but acceptance and security is a necessary part of knowing that you these emotions these are met and therefore you are becoming aware of how valuable you are the last and the most important thing is purpose without purpose you will never see your value right and purpose is a very interesting word because when we talk about purpose uh, there are many ways to look at it Depending, depending on who you ask but in this context when you put your life to something when you when your life is amounting to something when you feel like your job you have a job you have a, a particular assignment you know what i mean that keeps you engaged in life you have a particular goal that you are trying to accomplish you know what i'm trying to say when there is something that you are working on that keeps you up every day it is important god says you need a garden if you don't get a garden you're going to be incomplete so god gave adam a garden so purpose is why god gave adam a garden not because of a job 
you know but it looks like some people it will take too long for us to work with their purpose or some kind of thing so we just give them a job which is okay you know what i'm trying to say because in a way if it's a meaningful job they can find some purpose in it but purpose is critical for your identity all right so these are the three emotional things that are critical if you don't have them you are not going to see your worth even though you are worth something they need to belong they need to be valued by somebody else they need to be accepted they need to saying that you are secure in a secure place a secure relationship a secure family a secure kind of um uh, uh, how, do I, how am I, I say a secure place that your life is in it does everything to you and then purpose as in going to get going to do something i don't want to raise the the bar for success so that people i mean for the bar for purpose so that people like i don't know my purpose i don't know my purpose in this contest just doing something that keeps you going that you enjoy doing that's that's enough all right um so the problem i want to avoid today while well, the time is almost up my goodness the problem i want to avoid today the reason i pull this into our conversation this week is the fact that um the 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 way your value is measured it can be very tricky because of the things i mentioned because if you measure your value by what i'm going to talk about it will really kind of um mess you up a little bit because somehow your needs define your, your needs makes your your needs makes you see your value clearly but your needs is not what gives you your value. So for example, the first one, if you try to think that your value comes out of your appearance, you see that you are going to God help me. This is a lot of material I want to take time and teach. So I will see you on the other side of this. Allow me to rush through this, but after this week we're going to go into a week of prayer. After the week of prayer, I want to pick up on a whole week talking about your value because this content I can't rush through it and time is also up. So let me just touch on it. So you are not vulnerable by your appearance, you are not vulnerable by your status, you are not vulnerable by your skills, you are not vulnerable also by how you receive love, even though it's how it's made visible, that's not how you are valued know or how you are affirmed you understand that if you do that you're going to get yourself into a lot of problem because as soon as you feel that you are valuable by what you do then you're going to keep doing things to increase your value or you're going to now seek the need to be approved by people to feel valuable you understand that and it gets us into a lot of emotional problems like um, an unhealthy drive to be perfect in everything to achieve all your goals to succeed at all costs at the cost of your health you know when one thing <laughs> which is funny is some people come to America with agenda I didn't come with agenda because my father kind of brought me but some people will sit in their house and have an agenda and then the agenda will consume them so much that they will come to America and fulfill the agenda only for them to know that their health has been sacrificed for an agenda that they are going to now leave all of that and take care of their health, which is a waste of agenda. You understand that? So if your worth is not defined properly, then these things will just creep in and cause you to now get trapped into these things you understand that so it causes you to be driven on an unhealthy way or withdrawal you understand that so you withdraw by avoiding situation and avoiding risk and the fear of failure cause you to withdraw you understand that and which in the end 
brings you into fear and anxiety, anger and resentment and leads to depression. There's so much here that I don't want to bore you because we could be talking about it. But I want you to know that the bottom line is you need for you need to come to a place where you understand your value from who you are when you have not said anything you understand that like a hundred dollar bill is a hundred dollar bill when it has not bought anything you don't have to waste or spend your life in a flashy way for you to be valued so as soon as you can see your value when you have not said anything when you have not done anything then your value is intact and from there you live a healthy life and we like i said i brought this in because it's critical for what we'll be doing next week but i want you to understand that you are valued by god you are precious to god and you must believe what god says about you and you are a treasure to him you are important to him the key verse is you are more valuable to god than anything and you see your value is intrinsic in other words god didn't make you cheap and say okay i'm valuing you he made you fearfully and wonderfully made and once you understand that without embellishing it without adding anything to it then you understand that this is my true worth and i pray for you today that you will come to awareness that your value is not measured by any other thing and i said this is so critical because part of my ngo so i will come back next two weeks and share all of this detail about understanding your value but because of time let's pray father we pray that you will help us stand strong in jesus name amen